I'm building a tiny vacation home on wheels. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> I just ran like six miles on the treadmill still raining in Houston so still rainy day projects going on I am heading to Ikea again uh, I had gone the other day two days ago when I built that awesome uh, collapsible it's exactly what dead arm <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like collapsible uh, uh, countertop that's it and uh, they were out of the drawer um, cabinet that I decided I wanted instead, which you would have seen on the previous video. So I'm heading back to Ikea. It says online that it's in stock. And I think I'm gonna get it because I really want the extra storage up front uh, since I don't have upper cabinets. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with the existing locker. Probably just put that in my house. Um, Cause it's got a couple holes in it now, obviously. Uh, so I think I'll just use that as some kind of like passion project or something. I don't know. Harry and I can make something out of it. Um, and then my car is making some bizarre noises. All my Diet Coke back there. <laughs> so it's my only vice is drinking too much Diet Coke. But I don't drink coffee. So, you know, I need caffeine. Anyway, enough of, enough of that nonsense. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to see if they have it. And then I'm going to rip it out today. And then I'm going to paint. So I've got a big, nice canister jar <laughs> canister of paint that is really really nice that Home Depot mixed it's uh, satin white I think it's frost is the color white and it's like satin so that's um, uh, that's really nice so I am uh, going to it's a lot of traffic today why I guess lunch lunchtime <laughs> when you don't work in an office you don't really know why people are out <laughs> like why are you not somewhere else. Why is there a thousand cars on the road? I'm just kidding. It's fine. Um, anyway, so Ikea is only like two miles from my house, maybe three miles. <laughs> Everything my whole life in Houston, which is like the fourth largest city in the country, is within a three mile radius. All my restaurants, all my stores, Ikea, like Home Depot, I can just sling a dead cat and hit it behind my house. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to go um, and go see if they have the cabinet. And then, um, not gonna get one of those pretzels again. Those were horrible. <laughs> those were so bad. And I had two of them and they were just nasty. So anyway, so I'm going to um, just see if they have that cabinet and then I'm going to switch it out and then paint and then figure out the other little storage container that I have, a little medicine cabinet. Um, and then I think I'm going to go to a store called At Home after Ikea. Uh, it's a little bit further out. It's got like it's like a like a big lot it's like a big box store but they have a whole like huge section for rugs and things and I got the current like t-shirt rug that I have which is super cute um, I, I got that for like three dollars and so I'm gonna see if they have like a five by like a four by six rug and then I'm gonna cut an L shape and then that way I can um, fit it exactly in the um, floor area because I really want something that's a little just, you know, kind of one rug, not just these like two rugs. And if I get a like bath mat style, it's already got kind of the waxy like reinforcement. So it's a little bit more waterproof, even though I don't really have my plumbing hooked up. And then I'm going to fix my plumbing. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't really need it. Like I've gone 12,000 miles in the van and I've not ever needed to have like full on, you know, plumbing. So that's the plan today. I think it'll be a good productive day. Hopefully if Ikea doesn't have the locker, no big deal. I'll still go run the other errands. I'll still paint. The weather is still schizoid. So who knows what it's going to do. We had a thunder and lightning storm the other night and that was pretty cool. I mean, take a look at this. crash up there it's just crazy they just made this freeway bigger which just encourages more cars and there's literally like a million cars on this road at all times and this is right by the Galleria in Houston 
and um, it was funny, I had a dating profile one time that was like, you need to live within 25 minutes of the Galleria during rush hour. And somebody was like, the gallery is not even within itself during rush hour. Like, it takes so long. You could be stuck on, on Westheimer, right outside the Galleria Mall, for like an hour just trying to get through that red light. It is nuts. Anyway, so there's bad crash over here. Hopefully everybody's okay. It's probably just, you know, yeah, it's pretty bad. that it was in and it might look like they have them let's see it might not be in this aisle yeah. oh they do okay cool okay so this is it so this is the white color that i'm getting they also have black i guess but it looks like they only have one color so yeah two days ago they had zero and now they've got all of these so i'm gonna get it and i'm gonna rip out the other cabinet after spending all that time building that collapsible countertop but i will reuse that countertop for the edge of this one right here i just now have to find a countertop that will fit the size of this cabinet so i'm going to go over to the as is section which is way over there and see if they have anything in the handy bird the handy person corner i got a mask on i can barely speak <laughs> these are the drona soft storage cubbies I guess you call them I don't know what they are anyway so I got four of those so those will fit on the bottom shelf and then the no on the top shelf and then the larger drona boxes that I already have will fit on the uh, bottom shelf as I mentioned in the last video this is the handy person corner so even if you're not handy you are allowed to shop in this area so they have a lot of like MDF and uh, I did actually find some nice um, cedar or oak or some kind of like actual real wood um, but you can find like a door or a cabinet and they're marked down super cheap. So just kind of like peruse and see if there's something that, that you can find. There's also more stuff in the as is section. Um, but what I need is just something that can go on top of here. Since those um, chopping boards that I got are a little big. And uh, if I put two side by side, it'll come out too far. And I really just want something a little bit more rectangle. Okay, I don't find anything here, so I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond and see if they have chopping boards, and then maybe I can use one of those. I found these, I guess they're shelves or maybe siding. It looks like tongue and groove siding right here. It's not that heavy, it's $10, and it fits pretty much perfectly over the top of the counter. It's a different color, um, but I think it might work if I just kind of tack it down. I think that would uh, that would look really nice. It might actually be a countertop, who knows, but they have a bunch of them. So I think I'm gonna get one and um, that should work just fine. So that was a success. I feel kind of bad. I did that whole video on making that fold down sideboard thing and now I'm just gonna rip it out, but it's fine. You know, I wanted to do this cabinet anyway and I think it'll just be better. So now I'm going to at home, which is about 25, why am I so short? Hang on. There we go. Get my Bucky in there. <laughs> I'm going to at home, which is about 25 minutes away, um, and then just kind of circle back to my house. So, um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to rain today. So that's good. Finally. <laughs> so, anyway, all right. So, IKEA's done, and let's head out. Okay, so I made it to at home, and if you watch the episode on the original episode on the fridge, um, you'll see the kind of um, like metal tray table that I got where the fridge, fr fridge, the fridge fits perfectly in there. So this is the same store where I got that for. It was like it was a bit pricey. It was like 50 bucks, but it works as a great cabinet and a great counter space uh, next to my sink. So check out that video um, and all the other videos. <laughs> I got like. 39 videos now I'm like oh <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna go in here and see what kind of rug selection they have it looks like it's raining a little bit I'm in Sugarland which is one of these like master planned communities I guess southwest of Houston like 20 minutes uh, the Woodlands Katy Kingwood there are all these like master plan communities and Harry and I actually lived in the Woodlands when we first moved 
to um, or near the woodlands when we first moved to Houston and uh, it's like a Disneyland I mean all of our play centers and play dates and mommy groups are all down here um, in this area so it's kind of funny but it's not a place I could ever like actually live I never owned a house <laughs> so it's not really my style and I mean I'm 42 years old and I've never owned property and it's never been a desire of mine um, especially I think because I lived in California where it would just be impossible to get anything less than like a million one one point five million so just never sorry, never like had a desire to have property and like I said I'm 42 I'll be 43 this year so um, it's kind of like past the point of needing to own anything I think I would like to own land eventually and like in like Colorado or just have like a piece of land in like New Mexico and just have it where I could just camp or like boondock maybe build a little cabin uh, just something really cool but to have like a mortgage and you know it just I don't know I've always been a renter I've been a renter since I was 17 so it's like each to their own not really my style um, but yeah so this is a really nice part of I guess Houston southeast southwest Houston uh, just really nice and clean and people are you know very friendly and they've got lots of stores and not a lot of traffic um, and all the like like I said before COVID the play centers were down here so that was always fun to go to so yeah let me go in and see what they have Okay, this is the rug area. I actually saw some of these really cool umbrellas down there for like 60 bucks, but I have the moonshade, so I don't really need like an extra umbrella. Um, but they have such a large selection of pretty much any size or any kind of rug you want. And you know, this is a really, really cool store. Um, I want something that's about, I guess a three by five is what I'm looking for. Um, so not this design, but that size. And I'm gonna cut a little L shape out of it. Um, right now my color scheme is kind of this like light green, um, but I can basically pull any color out of the existing uh, bohemian style, um, what is it like a uh, comforter quilt, I guess, color. So I'd like kind of more of a red or kind of a neutral, like what is that person saying? Okay, anyway. Yeah, so lots of lots of choices, other furniture too. Um, so yeah, I mean they've got probably hundreds of uh, rugs here. So the discount mats are over here, and then kind of the area rugs are up front. So I'm just going to shop around, take a look, and see what I can find, and find a restroom. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to look for first. I no idea where it is. these are the um, two by three rugs they're anywhere from like three dollars to like ten dollars so this is the one I have previously or currently so something bigger low pile this is um, I guess shag carpeting I don't want that because that'll just like be a magnet for dust so something low pile um, kind of a red color I think would be nice I don't think I'm gonna go with that kind of green again. I only did it because I got the um, bath mat from Ikea for like $2. This is cute. Maybe this would work. Kind of like that. I'd have to cut it, so I don't know how sturdy it would be once I do cut it. Um, it I might have to like burn the edges or something. So, but that one is five by seven. Yeah, that might work. How much is it? 17 bucks. 17 bucks for a rug and the nice thing is it's just gonna get dirty and I can just replace it so this might actually work I may not have to cut it that much so that's an option so I will take that and look for something else okay I'm 
I'm going with this one because then I can still use the other rug that I have as like a doormat. Um, so I think we're good. I don't think I need anything else. So I think I'm good to go home and work on ripping out that cabinet. <laughs> That'll be fun. Right now I'm just going <laughs> to remove this whole thing here. down put it aside crazy how much extra room I have now that I've taken out that cabinet. It looks so big in there. I'm half tempted to not put anything back, but I do need the storage.
that took a while, but I think it looks great. I think that's going to work out really, really well. Better than I expected. So now I just have to attach the, um, the peg leg in the right corner, of course. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to fit it and then add the peg leg and I'm actually going to screw it through the bottom and then um, yeah I think I'm not mm, not quite sure about what I'm going to do on the countertop. I could try to reuse these. I would like to. Uh, I do want to have that extendable countertop. Um, you know I, I think I'd still like to do that. Maybe I'll just do that anyway without adding another counter. I don't know. We'll see. But. Yeah, I think this works out well. It's actually not as big as I thought it would be. It looks big now because it's in the middle of my floor. But yeah, I think this will work perfectly. This is the $10, um, well it's not a countertop actually, it's the front of a pull-out uh, sink drawer or pull-out fridge drawer, some kind of large drawer that you would have in your uh, kitchen. And it actually fits perfectly. Like, ridiculously perfectly. So I think I'm going to attach it in the back here and I have some glue. I can glue it down, um, but I'll use some L brackets as well. The leftover ones from the uh, other debacle yesterday. Um, it's a different color, but it's kind of like you've got the three shades. You've got the dark floor, you've got the kind of medium brown, and then you've got this like kitchen counter sink thing here. I am going to redo the sink when I do electrical because I'll redo plumbing. I think I might just, uh, I might use this. Look how perfect it is. Thank you, Ikea, for not confusing me. My car is in the way a little bit. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. And these extra little random holes, I can use that for something. Maybe string lights through it or something like that. I think it looks really, really nice. Let's uh, go inside and step up. And I actually have more room because, and also you can see how it's not echoing because I have the insulation. I actually have more room because it's not as wide. If you look at the, the old locker came out to about here. So this one is actually more narrow. So I have more room, even though I have less door space, which is fine, I'm doing what everybody does. And that countertop just looks amazing. So I just secured it with the uh, ugly hex screws and then used a, a bracket and then I attached it to the wall inside uh, the cabinet. But if you look down here, I have so much more room and I can fit the Drona boxes in there. So I think this will be all of my clothes storage. Previously it was under the bed so then that way I could move some of the stuff that I don't need every day under the bed instead of having it in the locker like before. I think that looks really nice. Absolutely. Yay, well done me. So this is why I chose this particular locker is because it has the security latch, so I can put one of these handy dandy things on it, just like I did here and down here. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> here I was yesterday or two days ago thinking, oh my God, I got this amazing like, you know, countertop. And now it's like, no, I got this now. I don't know what I'll do if I'll do an expandable piece. Maybe I'll go back and get another similar front, um, what is it? Cabinet drawer <laughs> front, whatever it's called. I do need to paint this piece of wood here. I need to paint the ceiling and maybe jazz that up a little bit. Um, I need to figure out how to do this door again. Now that I've got more space, I can get in there and actually do like a like latch door of some sort. Um, yeah, because the toilet goes behind that. Now what I'm going to do is cut the L-shaped carpet. So the carpet's out there. I'm going to cut it so it's kind of an l shape. So it comes all the way out and then I'll just use the other mat as just an extra, you know, reinforcement. So, but yeah, the floor has held up surprisingly well, <laughs> considering I did it myself. I love this. Okay, this is, this is what I wanted to do two days ago if Ikea wasn't out of it. 
but learning experience and if anyone wanted to do the other thing I did in the other video with the cabinet uh, countertop then you guys can do that too so whatever you decide it's your home okay so I'm gonna cut about maybe six to eight inches off the edge and then have it wrap around and it fits exactly across and exactly lengthways so I think that should be good I'm using the uh, sheet metal shears that I used when I broke my arm about six years ago ice skating <laughs> but I forgot to jump I kind of went down to the ice instead of up in the air um, and then I bought these sheet metal shears to cut my cast off before I went on a trip to Vegas a business trip for a yoga a children's yoga studio I wanted to open back then so I didn't want to look like I got injured in Vegas so I bought these cut off the uh, cut off the cast and then put on a, a wrist brace and then everyone just thought I had carpal tunnel syndrome so it was good anyway so this will be nice it's super comfortable carpet or rug and I can just like sit on the floor now now that I have more room okay that's perfect there we go, now I can sit on the floor. That looks really good. Okay, so there it is. That is the end of this week's projects. <laughs> Who knows what I'm gonna rip out next week. I'm just kidding. Uh, I think ceiling next, probably. Even though I don't really need to. Or maybe just plan a, a trip for a couple days. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> it's getting hot here in Texas. It's probably about 80 degrees right now and super humid but it feels nice in the van because it's insulated so it actually feels a lot cooler inside without any air conditioning or fan or anything than it does outside so it's been a pretty easy work day but after like next month no it's gonna be like freaking I don't know 100 degrees out and 100% humidity like we will be underwater literally but that looks good so we are good to go that is it this is the end of my projects see you next time